We have just completed our objective of patrolling close to Java Sea. And uh, I'm going to see if I can get a little bit more instructions. Patrol close to South China Sea. That can be arranged. Alright, so we're going to go into this area here. This is the Gulf of Thailand, I guess. And we're going to go over here. And I'm going to mark out another circle. Just to be consistent. Which is one of my strong suits. And we're going to mark out... How about we just go with... Uh, let's go with 100 kilometers, because that is a big area there. Um, yeah, so we're going to... Southeast. Don't care. I'm going to get rid of the rest of our course lines. We are okay as far as fuel, so I think that uh, this will work. Well, now let's actually, let's let's do some induction, inference, expectorance. Time to, well, no. Maximum range is... Really? I don't believe you. Maximum range at current speed is not very good. Am I on the surface? Huh. Oh, I'm turning, I guess, but... Let's just see here. Because yes, turning changes your uh, efficiency. You're obviously putting out less speed. So let's do this, and then we'll do this. That is really not very much, but we're also not going terribly far. I think... I think that'll be... Ooh, that is really marginal. Because... If you look like this... Yeah, that's a that's a negatory ghost rider. Damn. Okay. I I thought we had way more fuel than that. They gave me some skunky Australian shit. I don't know. I guess we're recharging too. Um tell you what, we're going to head this way anyway. I think we'll obviously obviously be okay to get back to uh, Perth by the time we recharge. We'll still be within range of Perth, so let's wait until that happens and I'll get back to you guys. That's more like it. We're good. Um, and also I realized I could have just turned off recharge <laughs> in order to figure that out, but that wouldn't be as much fun, would it? Okay, let's get rid of this also while we're at it. So this is the course I've laid in for our position into the South China Sea. And uh, I expect that we'll run into some traffic there. It should be fun. We've got a radar contact, and he's heading right for us. Chief, security eagle and dive ship. Aye, sir, passing the word. Oh, we had the radar antenna down. Marvelous. You'll note, of course, that we can still detect radar when we don't have it fully extended. It just helps your range a little bit to have it extended. That's what she said. Uh oh, somebody's getting pretty close. Um, I'm gonna do a depth reading. If I can remember where the fuck it is. Thank you. Let's see if it's another Betty. And uh, thanks to you guys for pointing something out that happened. Uh, in the last video, I believe it'll still be the last video, where, um, you know, when I was shooting at that Betty and, you know, everybody was having a grand old time, and then it dropped something in the water. I did not notice this. It dropped a torpedo in the water, which, had I not been already maneuvering around, would have killed us. <laughs> would have been curtains for us, as they say in cartoons. We would have been completely dead, as they also say in cartoons. It was not good. So it's it's kind of fun for me to have those moments of being like, oh, well, I made it out of that just fine. And then you guys are like, well, actually, <laughs> it 
Your ineptitude almost killed us. That's what I expect out of my crew. You know, they're not afraid to question me, but, you know, you still will, you know, kind of follow me to the end. T till the end. I'm trying to find that plane, but I'm not finding it, so... Hey, maybe we'll get shot with a torpedo. Kind of as insurance against that, we're going to change course. I used to be really good about that, and particularly because of my uh, uh, wariness from Silent Hunter 3, this game has gotten me real casual about this kind of stuff, and that's not good. But, um, as that little episode demonstrated, you do need to still be very careful. Uh, I'm going to go to periscope depth and actually go to the surface. Balls! How far is that? It's not really in visual range. It is still buzzing around, though, looking for us. Yes, sir. 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 Current set two zero. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nine meters. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Or yeah, never mind. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> God. <laughs> It is starting to get a little bit darker out, but... Do I hear a plane? The plane! Yeah, I don't see anything. Okay, well... Welp. We're gonna stay under for a little bit longer. Let's wait until 1745. Oh, we've waited well past that. Okay. And uh, let's go up to periscope depth and then put up that radar antenna, which will not detect anything. So let's go on the surface. And okay. We seem to be all right now. Let's return to course and hope that that does. Well, I was going to say hope that that doesn't happen again, but it will. Oh, dear me, it will. We'll continue on despite the odds, though. How's that? That's a pretty cool thing to say, right? We'll continue on despite the odds. Not cool. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> this is, uh... Not a good place to be. It is actually a really smart place for the Japanese to be doing this. Because it is really one of the few really low areas in between uh, Borneo and Sumatra. Well. I'm going to change our course to go west. Huh. Okay. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Lost the contact. The water is red with blood. Let's see if I can find the plane. It's probably another Betty with a torpedo on the belly, but... Nothing. I can kind of hear it, but the music is sort of drowning it out, so. Hold on. Just increasing the volume on my highly sophisticated uh, headphones here. Yeah, I don't hear anything. That's fine. Actually, this was kind of a good course correction anyways, because we have to go through that straight there, so. I'm calling it a win. Starting to think that maybe he left. But let's stay under for a little bit longer. And it is officially nightlight time. 
So everybody curl up in their bunks with a copy of Goodnight Moon and await the onslaught. Oh boy. Uh, let's go on the surface. Let's go to periscope depth and also... Whoa. Did I do that? Yes, sir. Is that a work thing? Oh, that's fascinating. I just learned something. You can hit backspace and that will immediately put you back to one time compression. That is fantastic news. I learn something new every day. Okay. I think we're in the clear once again. So let's continue. I just had us spending most of the morning underwater, and to my great surprise and pleasure, it is raining and cloudy, meaning that there will be no planes, which is great. So we're going to continue on with this bad weather behind us, propelling us towards our goal. And uh, we'll hunt if we can. I was kind of, I put a moratorium on hunting in here. Um, we did have a... Actually, it's gone. But we had a radio report of a ship way down here heading northwest. So that's encouraging. It's good to know that there's traffic in the area. But um, I you know, wasn't too keen on shooting at anything while we were possibly going to get shot at. But now we might take a few shots. Um, not just because of the weather, but because the area is opening up a little bit. And I don't think we're as likely to run into planes. So just a quick update, which may mean nothing because we may not run into anything. Radar contact. Um, kind of skirting along beside us. I'm not going to worry about it just yet. Keeping my eye on it. And we lost it. Oh, well done. Yeah. Courageous stand against an unseen enemy. Alright, we're going to keep going. Oh, hello. He's going to cross our path. And he's directly ahead of us. And I think he is heading... Yeah, actually, crash dive. So, everybody go crazy! It's like when somebody says Pee Wee secret word. <laughs> what kind of range are we looking at here? You know, we probably didn't need to react like that but better safe than torpedoed. Whoops. We're in good deep water now. But let's not overdo it here, gents. Yeah, just, 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 just. Oh, we're good. Any sign of our foe? Do they dare show their face? Not really. Alright. You guys know the drill. We're going to stay under for a bit and hope that he flies away. I just put us on the surface and I surfaced us right below a plane, it looks like. Oh, not quite right below. But he is coming at us. Bro. Already made that joke? Wasn't funny the first time. Oh my. Oh my. My God. Okay, so. Yes, sir. New course. Three. Yes, sir. Yeah, let's put that thing down. Fly over us. Whoop. Oh dear. Fortunately, the waves are a little bit choppy, and that affects their ability to detect us. So that's nice. Yeah, the scary music's playing. Where did he go? Well, I don't know that he's actually going to mount an attack. Looks like we might have gotten away this time, just barely. That was a little bit close. Yes, 
Uh, I didn't do a crash dive, which I probably should have done, but that's okay. We're alive right now. Yep, we're good. Yay. All right, I'm going to keep us under for a little while longer, I guess. I guess I should take the hint. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, we got to go under again. Okay, yeah, we spotted him before we got under. That means he got quite close. I think we're still safe, but let's do a depth sounding. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Yes, sir. New depth. You know, I don't tend to like to crash dive, and this may be based on um, a faulty premise, but the reason I don't is that... That's fine. I don't really need to go that deep. The reason I don't is that if you just up and crash dive... Up and crash dive? Down and crash dive? Um, you're going at a head flank, and thus you're going to be making a lot of noise when you get under. And if there happens to be a ship in the area, in addition to the plane, you are going to get detected and you're going to get depth charged on top of being bombed. So I try to play it a little bit cautious with that stuff, but, you know, your mileage may vary, etc, etc. Uh, that's really more of a concern in Silent Hunter 3 when, you know, the ocean is pretty cramped, uh, comparatively. This is the whole fucking Pacific Ocean we're talking about here. Uh, in Silent Hunter 3, just for comparison purposes, let's just keep the same scale. Just go from here, over, over, to here. Like, let's say you're going into the channel. The channel is not very wide. The, um, what is this? The Irish Sea? The Sea of Doom? Um, that's pretty narrow, too, and it's also extensively patrolled with, um, anti-submarine ships. That is another thing, is the Japanese do not have near as many as the British do, so... Just, uh, probably a little bit of paranoia on my part as far as the crash diving thing, but it serves me well in Silent Hunter 3, which is my preferred game of the two, so you're going to have to get used to it. Yeah. Well, how long have we been under? For a little bit? For a little bit. Let's stay under for a little bit more. It is officially nighttime, but let's wait until 2030. And we'll go up to periscope depth. You can put the scope up, as somebody reminded me, um, and it'll automatically do a detection pass to see if there's anything on the surface, which is why I do that. But we detected nothing, so let's just go on the surface and... Yay! Self-high five! All right. Onward. Radar contact heading east-northeast. Which is pretty much where we are, so. You guys know how this goes. See, now that's a situation where I will absolutely crash dive. If he's heading right for me and I can't get under quickly enough, well, he's actually pretty far, so I could have possibly gotten away with not doing that, but... He also has radar, so, you know, I don't really like playing around with that kind of stuff. And we are... Underpants! So let's see, he is due west of me. That should make it fairly easy to see. Now you can also see that my sub is visible. And a clever, um, pilot. Can I tell us to go to a depth? Yes, sir. New yes, sir. Alright, well, anyways. Three, two. <laughs> Clever pilot will uh, try to scout you out that way. Don't let him do that. I should be able to see this guy. Not the sky, this guy. And. I don't 
calcium. Okay, fantastic. Maybe we'll get torpedoed. Whoa! The ocean is having a seizure. That's really peculiar. I used to be pretty good at finding the planes when they were doing this stuff, but I guess I'm not anymore. That's okay. We have a little... We had plenty of room. I didn't need to be that leery about that, but we're going to stay under. Uh, I think that this is going to be a day-long kind of thing for us, generally speaking, where we just stay under. Um, because planes are really, really frequent in the daylight, so... We're gonna hide for a little bit. This is probably the same ship that I got a radio signal for down here, but it is now heading west-northwest, so we really don't have any chance of running into it, which is a shame, but like I said, it could be a sign of more traffic to come. <laughs> 